Let's not go ahead here, aka Brother of the Junior. Brother says, we turn our Bibles to Numbers chapter 24. We'll begin looking at verse 4 and verse 16. Numbers chapter 24, verse 4 reads, He hath said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Verse 16 says of Numbers chapter 24, He hath said, which heard the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Man, Lord Adam, let's get a reading. Did he hear it? Did he hear it? Did he hear it? <laughs> Through the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book <laughs> that man could ever present. And my brother, this God word, we give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord, saying, Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in Numbers chapter 22 to 24, it's recorded where the people of God are going through the wilderness. And as they're going through the wilderness, being providentially protected and cared for by Jehovah God, God's people, they come across the, the king of Moab. And the king of Moab is well aware of that the people of God are coming and how they were able to, to conquer all the, the nations that they were going through. And so the king of Moab got scared. And so he hired this fortune teller, this magician, uh, who had this notorious reputation of uh, casting witchcraft on people. And so the king of Moab hired this um, fortune teller, this magician, to put a curse on God's people because they were coming and more than likely uh, conquer the, 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 the king of Moab. And he didn't want to, that to happen to him, so he hired this uh fortune teller, this magician, to cast this witchcraft and, and curse the people of God. And so this fortune teller magician agreed. He went on top of a mountain and he, he wanted to curse them. But what God did to this um, fortune teller, this magician who practiced witchcraft, instead of putting a curse, he blessed God's people. And then he went high on a high mountain, this um, fortune teller, this magician who was hired by the king of Moab to put a curse on God's people. He went on a higher mountain, high part of the mountain, to curse God's people, but instead he was blessing God's people. And the king of Moab got a little upset with this um, fortune teller magician who has this practice of witchcraft to curse people. And he, all, he sees that they're just, just being blessed. And so he's like, hey, what's going on? You, you're not doing what I'm telling you to do. The people are being blessed and I want, I want you to curse them. And then if we pick this up in Numbers chapter 23, verse 20. And this is what this fortune teller, this magician who has who, who practices all his witchcraft on putting curses on people. This is what he says to the king of Moab. Why he's why and, and he says it in this in Numbers chapter twenty three, verse twenty. He says, "Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed. And who the he that this um, magician fortune teller is talking about? Jehovah God." And he has blessed, and I, this uh, two-bit con artist charlatan, says, I cannot reverse it. And then watch what he says. He's telling this to the king of Moab. He says, he, speaking about Jehovah God, hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob. So he's telling the, the, the king of Moab that Jehovah God, he doesn't see no iniquity on his people. And then watch this. Neither hath he seen, he's telling this to the king of Moab about Jehovah God in regards to his people. He hath not seen perverseness in Israel, the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital E, the covenant keeping God, the God who has a covenant with his people that he's going to keep because he loves him, Jehovah God. Because the Lord his God is with 
him was with his people and the shout of a king is among them. And so we see that the, 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 this magician, this fortune teller, this charlatan is telling the king of Moab that Jehovah God don't see no iniquity on his people. He don't see no perverseness on his people. He don't see nothing bad on his people. And then we see in the next chapter where he goes on to explain the vision of the Almighty. And he uses the term vision of the Almighty two times. And so the what the the, the magician, the fortune teller, is going to tell the king of Moab about why, you know, God is blessing them and who God bless, he can't reverse it. He's going to show them about what Jehovah God sees in his people. In the 24th chapter that begins with, and when Balaam, this is the, 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 the charlatan, the 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 the, the the magician, the fortune teller who, who practiced in witchcraft and curse and when Balaam saw that it pleased that it that it pleased the Lord to bless God's people. It pleases God to bless his people. He went not as other times to seek the enchantments, but he set his face towards the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes and he saw Israel, the people of God, abiding in his tents according to the tribes. And watch this. And the Spirit of God came upon this charlatan, false prophet, fortune telling magician who practices witchcraft. The Spirit of God came upon him, or was on him. And watch this. And he took his parable. So he's going to say something because he can, he's got the Spirit of God on him, still a a, a, a fortune teller. He's still a, a magician. He's still a, 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 a charlatan. And, and, but, but, but the spirit of God is on him. Spirit of Jehovah God is on him. And he took his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said. So the charlatan's eyes are now open to the things of God. And he's going to, and, and watch this. He hath said, which heard the words of God. This is the words of God coming out of this charlatan. He, he heard the words of God, and, it's, and because the spirit is, of God is in him, and, and he heard the words, and now he's speaking the words of Jehovah God, which saw the vision of the Almighty. So he's speaking about what God sees, what Jehovah God sees, because we saw in the previous chapter he, he, he spoke about what he doesn't see. He doesn't see their sins. He doesn't see their iniquities. He doesn't see their perverseness. It's not saying that they don't have sin. They don't have perverseness. They don't have uh, 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 shortcomings. It's just that he doesn't see it, Jehovah God. But he's going to show you what he does see. And watch this. Falling into a trance, but having his eyes open to the things of God. How God sees his people. And watch this. Verse 5. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the riversides, as the trees of lime alloys, which the Lord hath planted, and as a cedar trees besides the water. And so, the, the, the way that God sees his people, he sees them good, like a tree planted by the, by the rivers of living water and bearing fruit in due season, and their leaves will not wither. And whatsoever they shall do, they shall prosper. That's the vision of the Almighty. Then we see where this, this two-bit charlatan who's under the influence of the spirit of Jehovah God and speaking the words of God, telling this to the king of Moab about why, what, 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 what God has blessed, he can't reverse it, what, what, why God doesn't see uh, the, the peoples of God's shortcomings, sins, iniquities, transgressions, failures, 
He doesn't see that, but what he does see, he says in uh, verse 16 of Numbers chapter 24, again, the vision of the Almighty. He said, he hath said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, how God sees his people falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Watch this, verse 17. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. A scepter shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab. No wonder the king of, uh, 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 of Moab was so scared. And destroy all the children of Seth. The end of the death are the children of, 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 of the enemy of God's people. And verse 18, and Edom shall be a possession. Seir shall also be a possession for his enemies. This is talking about the, the, the defeating of the enemies. And watch this. And Israel, God's people, shall do valiantly. And out of Jacob shall come he. And who's he talking about? He's talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. And shall destroy him. Him and who's that? Him? That's that's the enemy. That's the devil. That's anything that comes against God's people. The out of Jacob shall come he, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He have dominion, and he shall destroy the devil, the works of the devil that remaineth of the city. And that is the vision of Almighty God. He doesn't see our sins, our iniquities, our transgressions. And why? Because what he sees is out of Jacob comes he, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That will destroy the works of the devil and we will be edified. God is glorified and the kingdom of darkness, praise the Lord, is nullified. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord stay shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constitute. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Savior. And out of him that is able to keep you from fault, present you faultless in the presence of his glory. Both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. The vision of our almighty God. <laughs> what he sees in us <laughs> is his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the defeat of the enemy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you.